Hello again, everybody. This is Derek from ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com. That's right, ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com. That's where you can go to get all your airsoft supplies and needs. And today what we're doing is we're doing an airsoft review. This review is of the M18A1 Airsoft Claymore Mine. This is an anti-personnel mine. It is uh, either tripwire or uh, command and control. And so you can uh, daisy chain up to four Claymore mines together using the one remote that comes with this. All right, well, let's talk about what it says on the box, okay? It says that it's one-to-one -one anti-personnel mine. Well, I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like, and yes, it is one-to-one -one size. Um, it uses your airsoft BBs, okay? So if you've got six millimeter or even eight millimeter BBs and you want to use those airsoft BBs in this, you certainly can. It also says that it is age 18 and above. Well, that's who purchases this. Um, parents, you can buy this for your kids. You can see exactly how, uh, how it works here by watching this video and get a better understanding. Um, it says it holds 200 shells. I bet you I could cram more than that in there. Um, does it shoot all 200 shells? We're gonna find out today. My theory is no. I'm gonna think that a lot of them do shoot, but I bet you a, fall, a few of them fall out on the ground. It says powder can be used. Well, if you want to put some baby powder or some any other kind of powder in uh, your uh, mine, you can. Personally, I'm not going to do that. It says the shooting range is 20 meters. What we're going to do is we are going to shoot at a target at approximately maybe about 25 feet, actually. And then we'll see how, it, how well it does. All right, let me show you what you get in the box. All right, we're, we're back. Um, the M18A1 Claymore Mine. Open it up. You get you get a one-page manual. You open it up, boom, there it is. That's all your instructions. Um, it is in broken English, but if you concern yourself with the grammar and the spelling of the English, then you ha are you're very petty. Uh, don't worry about the grammar and the English you can read this you can understand it it does come with the mine itself it also comes with let's uh, reach down inside here the remote the remote comes with a little belt clip uh, equipment clip that you can clip onto your gear it comes with a little cover when you open up the cover it exposes the buttons um, A, B, C, and D. So if you, you could set them off one, two, three, four, or you can like chain them all together. It has a little antenna there. So if you wanted to, it says that the broadcast range is 200 meters. And of course, the mine itself. Okay, there are some differences to the real thing. Okay, first of all, um, it's not airsoft. Uh, second of all, these legs, these legs are just a little bit different than the real one. You can pull these straight out and then you have an, you can get the Y to go either go to the front or the back um, and you can alternate back and forth to get stability on your device once you plant it or dig it into the ground however you want to do and we'll do that today and these folds up for easy transport. It does say front towards enemy that helps you out. Um, there Let's talk about operation of this. Uh, there is a safety right here. I'm gonna hold this together because it is spring loaded, but when you have it set and ready to go, you would pull the safety out and that will allow it to fire. Well, since I don't have it really set, it's automatically starting to open up as you can see. You can see it's starting to open up. Well, I'm gonna reach in there and hold on to the springs and gradually let them open. Okay, and of course, your orange for the U.S. Uh, that's what I have. I don't know if that's a standard or if I just got lucky and got orange. Um, what I thought you did was put the BBs in a pouch or a pile right here, close this up, leaving the BBs in the pouch so that when it opens, it expands and tosses them out. Well, that's not really true. Once you get it set, there is a hole on the outside of front towards enemy that you pour your BBs in and they will fall into the contained pouch compartment area. There is a battery compartment right here where two dub, I'm sorry, two 9 volt batteries go. You have to unscrew the, th the screws, plug your two 9 volt batteries in and screw them back in. 
it came with the batteries pre-installed. There is an on off switch right here. When you turn on the electric trigger, which you don't have to, you can use the manual trigger, but it, when you turn on the electric trigger, there's an indicator light right there. Let's turn it on. Indicator light right there that comes on so you can tell that it is powered. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Okay. To load, the, uh, to uh, prepare this, it's a little tricky. You got to use both hands and you got to understand that these springs are extremely tight. Okay. You got to close your firing mechanism and, and keep your hand out of the way while you lower this trap door. There's a metal section of the trap door right here, and this is what I wanted to talk about, part of the mine that I didn't like. There's a metal part of the trap door right there, but here and here there is not, there is plastic. And when the trap door, when this thing fires, it pushes on the trap door here, as you can see the scuffs, but it also scuffs up the plastic right here. Luckily, this is extremely durable, real thick, it's almost like the real steel plastic. I mean, it is extremely durable. Okay, let's let's lock and load. Okay, now you have to push down on it right here. There's a little catch for this plate to lay on it. Okay. Okay, and it's not going to stay unless you. Fiddle with the trigger. Be very gentle with it. And stand back. Okay. It's it's very tentative. It's very very loose on how it's going to stay on here. I'm scared that it'll pop out at any time. So you have a but I, you know that's just me being cautious. Always wear eye protection in case you get BBs flying out at you. You have a safety mechanism right here, so you can hold your mine together. Don't squeeze it too far or you'll release the, the trigger. And you slide the safety mechanism in the back. Okay, now when you put the safety in, what it's going to do is it's going to prevent this top trigger, this top release mechanism from popping up. It needs to pop up to release this piece to fly out. Okay, so it is in there. Now if you notice, I have this thing locked and the on-off switch is on the inside. Well, I can't turn it on and use it electrically. I'm going to have to use it manually. So there is a string hole you can tie right there and you can tie it across a trail or something like that. So when someone walks by, it'll pull on that trigger and it will fire this. And I'll give you a very simple demonstration. Pull the safety after you've got this thing mounted in the ground. I'm going to hold it with my hand and imagine someone pull tripping that wire. All right, but I want it to be electrical release. So I'm going to turn that on. The indicator light is on. I'm going to press down over, but at the same time I have to kind of set the lock. Okay, the lock is set. Setting the safety so now it won't pop open. It's ready to go. Now what I need to do is pour some BBs in there. I'm going to give it a slight downward tilt because I want it to go in. Well, there's another hundred, and I bet you I could put even more in, but we're not going to. All right, guys, I got the mine right here laying on the ground. I've got a target set up right there at 25 feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place the mine here. I'm going to step back to the camera, which is about another 10 feet back. I will detonate it, and we'll see how many hits out of 200 BBs we get on that silhouette. Here we go.
extend the legs. Set up a firing position. Jamming it into the ground just so that I can get a good angle of attack. Angle it just right. Pull your safety. Step back. Let's make sure everything's on camera. And here we go. That was with point twos. I think I hit the target with maybe three or four BBs. All right, guys, thanks for coming out and checking out this video. My end result review of this uh, Claymore mine is that it's a novelty. It's pretty cool to have on the field. It's that little extra something to uh, deny someone a path or a trail, or if you know they're gonna attack you from a certain place, you can set them up into in their where, where they would take cover and you can detonate it and you could kill them. The FPS on this is extremely low, okay? I'm gonna say somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 to 200. So, you're not gonna hit them and cause them to feel anything at 20 yards. If I were you, I'd keep it within about 10 to 15 feet. That way they know they've been hit because it'll, it'll feel like someone took a handful of BBs and threw it at that individual. That's how hard it hits. So parents, if you want to get this for your kid, you certainly can. Just ensure that they wear eye protection. And that's mainly because of when you set it up, there's a lot of holding it in tight while closing it. And it's got a hair trigger on it. This thing is very hard to set. Once you have it set and you've got it placed, it's gonna stay good, but getting it there is another story. Um, it popped open a few times on me and I had to hold it closed with my hands and reset the trigger while I was placing it in the ground. I did not like that. But once I got it set, I could go back into my covered position and I could detonate mine and it would work fine. So you can pick this up at streaminggalairsoft.com. And remember guys, whenever you're on the airsoft field, play safe.